Well, it's about that time of year. Our junior and senior prom will be held on Saturday, April 23rd at the Regent in Riverview from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Prom tickets are on sale during lunches in the Commons. Tickets are $75 and students must be on track. Guest forms and appeal forms can be found on the front page of the school website with all the information about prom. Juniors and seniors, today is the last day to appeal for prom. Please check during lunches and in the media center with Ms. Hyde to see if you're off track. Many students have tried to purchase prom tickets and found out because of excused and unexcused absences, they were off track. Please don't wait till the last minute and email Ms. Hyde if you have any questions. Attention Gators, although the school year isn't quite over, next year is quickly approaching. Student Council is now seeking officers for the 2022-2023 school year. Students can get their application on the school website or in room 409 today. The application is for officers only, but all students are eligible to attend the meetings and help make decisions. If you know any responsible and hardworking students with follow-through, please encourage them to apply. The application is due April 14th, and voting begins on April 28th and ends on April 29th. It's time to travel again. If you are interested in traveling to Italy next summer, June 2023, please join the Remind on the screen to receive an RSVP link for our next meeting, which will be held April 7th at 6.30 p.m. in room 315. As usual, Michael and Reggie have a sports segment planned. Let's go to them for a recap on the past week. What's up, Gators? I'm Reggie. And I'm Michael. We're back with some more sports updates. This past Wednesday, our boys lacrosse team beat Clearwater 19-2. Also, our boys baseball team beat Zephyr Hills 3-0. And also, our girls lacrosse team took a big win against Wesley Chapel. Our boys baseball team played Steinbrenner and beat them 12-4. Tonight, our boys baseball team will travel to Nature Coast to take them on. That's all we have for today, Gators. See you guys next time. Thanks. Last but not least, Nicole and I check in with our past alumni. What's up, Gators? I'm Emily. And I'm Nicole. Graduation season is coming up very soon, and did you know that we have some interesting alumni that have graduated from our very own Land O'Lakes High School? Starting off, Jeff Baisley played college baseball for USF. He also played third base in the MLB for Oakland Athletics, the Los Angeles Angels, and the Detroit Tigers. Next up, Drew Weatherford graduated in 2004 as a former football quarterback playing at Land O'Lakes High. Drew then moved on to playing college football for Florida State University from 2004 to 2008. Drew became and currently he is a partner at the Weatherford Capital and a primar primarily responsible for deal sourcing and investor relations. Stacy Bishop is a former college soccer player for UF and LSU. She played professional soccer for Atlanta Beat. Corey Joyan is a former professional baseball pitcher and he ended up playing in the MLB for the Baltimore Orioles. Jason Garcia was a professional baseball pitcher for the Guerreros de Oaxaca of the Mexican League and he also played in the MLB for the Baltimore Orioles. Logan Payne became a wide receiver in the NFL. He was originally signed by the Seattle Seahawks and then he moved to play for the Baltimore Ravens and the New York Jets. He played college football for the University of Minnesota. Derek Thompson is a former MLB pitcher. He was drafted by the Cleveland Indians in the first round of the 2000 MLB draft and also played for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Last up, Will Weatherford is an American politician who was a Re Republican member for the Florida House of Representatives from 2006 to 2014. He played football here along with his brother, Drew Rutherford. That's all we have for today. Back to the anchors. Well, that's all we have for today, Gators. Tune in Wednesday for another edition of Swamp Talk.